So I wanted to give my first impressions of the new King of Fighters game from SNK, who are no longer known as SNK Playmore. Uh, a Chinese company has bought a majority stake in them, has reverted the name SNK Playmore back to SNK, and have even reinstated their old slogan, The Future Is Now, which is kind of neat. And apparently this Chinese company's objective is with SNK to make it into a bit of a media franchise. So not only are they going to release new games, but also go into comics, movies, that kind of thing. We'll see what happens with that venture. But right now, this is the latest output from the new SNK, King of Fighters 14, which is exclusive to the PlayStation 4. I don't believe this game came out in the arcades. I really don't know. You'll have to let me know on that one. I haven't found any information on it. I think this is a PS4 exclusive game. Um, I've got the Day 1 edition, uh, which is just a typical... Nothing special in the UK. If you order this from America or Japan, you got way more cooler stuff than we did in the UK or in Europe. We got kind of screwed. But, you know, for what it is, I really didn't care about the special stuff. It did look cool, mind you. You get like a soundtrack and an art book and stuff. I would have liked to have had that. Maybe I can get it off eBay one day. But in the meantime, I've got this version because that's all I could afford right now. And in a way, this is cool because this is the start of my new video game collection. Because uh, I have been selling off some of my precious Neo Geo games to raise some much needed funds to clear up some debts and stuff and basically start things again and although it's sad me to do it at the same time I'm looking f I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it I, I'm glad I'm doing it it's freed me up to do a few more things and uh, yeah uh, I want to collect in a more sustainable way where I can afford to collect but also afford to you know go out and do things like socialize but in the meantime yeah this is this is for me a symbolic game because it's the representation of my first collection uh, the, my first game in my new collection if that makes sense um, but in terms of the actual game itself um, and first impressions which is really all I'm going to talk about for the rest of this video and I'll keep it short <laughs> weirdly enough or at least I'll try to keep it short but I really I've only played it for about, about an hour and I've only really done the story mode with the female team so I haven't explored a lot of the content that is on here for a fighting game though it does have a fair bit of content right off the bat you've got uh, story mode, uh, which is essentially your arcade mode. Uh, you've got a mission mode where you can do like three different things like time attack, survival, that kind of thing. Uh, you've got an online mode, which I will try at some point and let you know what it's like. But in the meantime, you'll have to find out for yourself how good it is, but it's there. Um, you've got a gallery, you've got a training mode, um, practice mode, versus mode, local. Yep, local versus, good, because for some reason a lot of video games that have or had local versus in the past in terms of franchises or even new games today think, oh, we don't need that sort of thing, you know, everyone's online, they can do multiplayer online. Halo 5, you piece of poop. But yeah, it's got local multiplayer, which is fantastic. It, it has 50 characters. Not sure if you can see it very well with the uh, blurb on the back here, but 50 characters are in this game, so there's a lot of characters, new and old. Mostly old, but some new as well. It's a brand new story arc in the King of Fighters franchise, so after King of Fighters 13, which finished off the Ash Crimson story arc, it's a brand new story arc. And, uh, yeah, aside from that, um, first impressions of this game, it is a King of Fighters game. Like, I know that sounds a bit silly to start with, but no, seriously, this is a King of Fighters game through and through more specifically, it feels and plays like a really old school King of Fighters game, like King of Fighters 96, 97. It plays like that. Um, and I'll get to more about the gameplay and the mechanics in a bit. I'll start off with the things I like about it and then the things I think need a bit of work. First off, this is the first, or I'm not sure if it's the first, but it's the, I believe it's the first King of Fighters game in the main series to have the fighters in 3D. So there's no 2D sprites of the characters. They're all 3D models now, like uh, Street Fighter 4, etc. And I believe the director of Street Fighter 4 helped direct this game. So at least I believed when it announced, or when SNK announced that this was going to be in 3D. Still on a 2D plane, mind you, but just think Street Fighter 4, basically. I was a bit nervous because a lot of people who are King of Fighters fans and SNK fans love the sprites. And King of Fighters 13, if you haven't played that, you should go play that. It's a really good game. It's very cheap. Looks great. Plays great. And you'll see what we mean about the sprite um, animation, 2D hand-drawn animation. It's fantastic. But this was the first in the main series to say, no, we're going to go 3D. And I believe the reason behind it is so then it's easier to add downloadable content to the game or extra content in the future, new characters, etc., etc. You don't have to redraw all of the uh, characters' animations. You can just take an existing model and do stuff with it. So I can see why they've done it, probably to save money and also just to try and take the series in a new direction since it's on the PS4, you know, the latest generation of consoles and stuff. 
And of course, it's SNK's, or the new SNK, I should say, which has gone back to the old SNK, uh, sort of new game with this Chinese venture thing. Um, and I have to say, if you are hesitant or worried about the 2D transition to 3D transition, it's good. It's absolutely fine. The character models are spot on for the most part. And especially the female characters, they look fantastic. They're hot, they're sexy, and they're strong. What more do you want? They haven't pulled any punches with them. Uh, specifically, Mai Shin Rui, or Mai Shin Rai, I can't pronounce her surname correctly, but Mai, and you'll know who she is, the uh, Japanese ninja girl with the red dress on and the big bouncy boobs. Yeah, she looks fantastic in this game. So I know that might seem like a bit like misogynistic and stuff, but no, seriously, she looks like what Mai should look like. She's perfectly done. So, you know, I'm sh as long as they didn't mess that up, which they haven't, then everybody else looks pretty cool as well. Most of the main characters from the previous franchises, like Kay, Caillou, uh, Oyuri, and all that stuff, um, they look brilliant. And a lot of the characters, for the most part, look great as well. So the 3D rendering of the characters looks fine, for the most part. Some of them look a little bit stiff or a bit like underdone. Not by much compared to the sort of main characters, but, you know, maybe a little bit of work here and there could have made them look a little better. But for the most part, they look great, and graphically they look great as well. So that's good. So the 3D transition is, I believe, in this case, been a success for SNK. So well done there. You've actually made it look good and it feels good. Um, the background stages look good for the most part. Again, graphically, they look nice. Um, and the graphics in general are pretty good as well. That They look good. They feel good. They're not cutting edge graphics or anything like that, but they are, for what they are, good for a fighting game. And for a King of Fighters, they look great. Plenty of colour. Um, and uh, again, for the most part, in terms of the background stages, they're good. There's a couple that are a bit underdone or you think they've been done a bit quickly, a bit rushed. Um, but for the most part, they're detailed, they're colourful, things are going on in the background. Uh, they're quite deep as well in terms of like depth perception. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background and it feels like it can go on forever. They're really cool. Uh, but again, there are some stages that are a bit rubbish or a bit small or a bit cheaply done but a lot of them are good um so that's fine music wise it's a sort of mix of old school music new school music it's fine absolutely good gets you in the mood each stage has got a good soundtrack to it nothing memorable but nothing bad either it's good the soundtrack's fine and like i said you've got 50 characters to choose from which is a lot for a fighting game and they're all available straight off the bat so you don't have to unlock any of them i don't know if you can play as the boss character in this game i don't believe you can but i don't know we'll see this is a first impressions video um and that's about it so graphics is good i like it and the 3d transition is is good overall i'm pleased with it i think it works great um the backgrounds are good the music's good what about the gameplay oh and content i should say before we go to gameplay like i said content wise there's a lot off the bat Capcom Street Fighter 5, take note from this. This is how a fighting game is done in terms of bloody content. You should have a story mode complete, versus mode, arcade mode, all that stuff, straight off the bat. Not just, oh no, we'll bring it out later. We'll sort of, you know, we'll just rush the game to capitalise on sales because we're a bit nervous. It might not do very well. And also, we're going for the more competitive type of thing. You know, most people battle online and do competitions and shit. No, they bloody don't. They play fighting games casually and they want everything off the bat and they want a lot of content, including old style content. SNK didn't F up there, so good for you, SNK. That's a big one up over Capcom Street Fighter 5. I'm not saying Street Fighter 5 is rubbish by any means. It still looks great, plays great. I'm just hoping that they do add on all the missing content that they've promised then that would be awesome. But no, this has it all right off the bat, so don't worry about it. You haven't got to wait for certain modes to be unlocked or story modes being half arsed or anything. They're not. It's fine. So that's good. So the last thing really to talk about is the gameplay. Um, and this really is where... Overall, I've got mixed feelings about it. Um, it does play like a King of Fighters game. And like I said, it plays like an old school King of Fighters game. 96 to 98 style. Well, actually, no, not quite 98. 96, 97 style. Um... It is pretty stiff, though. So if you're new to the King of Fighters franchise, this is quite a stiff fighting game. As of now, maybe they'll update it. Maybe they'll add some different speed modes. Maybe if you play the game for long enough, you might unlock uh, some content in the options menu that allows you to speed it up a bit. But it is quite a slow game, and it is quite stiff. Are the controls responsive, though? Yeah, they are, for the most part. They're fine. Um, but it is, compared to King of Fighters 13, a lot slower and a lot stiffer, which, for me personally, is not a deal-breaker, but it's a little sad. You know, like, everything else has been good. The story was, well, pretty much bog-standard. It's a King of Fighters story. There's not really much to say about that, and I won't spoil it. So you need to go play it. If, you need, if you're going to buy this game or get this game, I'll let you discover it for yourself. Um, but, 
yeah, the fighting mechanics in this, if you're a King of Fighters fan and have played the old school King of Fighters like I have, or just love King of Fighters in general, you won't be disappointed. It is King of Fighters, and it plays pretty well with the PS4 controller. I think this game would benefit definitely with some sort of arcade stick or Hori stick, um, or if maybe if SNK released their own sort of Neo Geo style stick for the PS4. That would be awesome. I think this game would benefit from that royally. Um, but yes, it is quite stiff. And it still looks good, like the fighting does work, but it is stiff. And I think if you're new to King of Fighters, like I said, you're probably going to be turned off by it. You know, I'm going to not lie and say I think out of this and Street Fighter Five at the moment, Street Fighter Five will play better. It's a lot faster, smoother and more fluent. This is quite stiff, which is a shame because first impressions wise, it's really good. Not that it's unplayable, it is playable, it's fine, but it is stiffer than I'd like it to be. So I'm hoping SNK, there's either some different speed modes in this game that you can unlock, or you'll update it so you speed it up a bit, make it a bit more responsive, maybe, would be nice. But other than that, in terms of first impressions, I'm very pleased with it. It's a good game, I like it, it's got plenty of content in it, characters look great in 3D, uh, especially the female characters, they're very well, I've already said it. Um, and yeah, the story mode's pretty bog standard, but it's fun. The cutscenes look good as well. You know, nothing special, but they're fun. Um, English translation is all right for the most part, except on the back here. Got some slight, well, you won't be able to see it sadly, but there's some slight miss English translations on the back. But it's funny. It's SNK. It made me laugh and think, yay, old school SNK with their terrible translations. Um, but yeah, overall, first impression's really good. Is it worth, though, the asking price of 50 quid? No, I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't. It pains me to say it. I've bought it and I'm quite happy to have paid 50 quid because I support SNK and I want SNK to come back and do well again. So I've paid 50 quid and I think if you're a diehard SNK fan or King of Fighters fan, it's not unreasonable. Like I said, plenty of content, loads of characters, you'll have fun with it. If you're not a diehard King, Fight King of Fighters fan or you're new to it, like I said, I think you should wait a bit till it comes down in price to about. 40 quid or under i think if they shave 10 pound off the price it would be great but you know i can understand why they're charging it at 50 it's plenty of content and like i said it's not a like a you know a 50 quid game that's really only worth 10 or 20 pounds no it is worth 50 quid but considering the mechanics are quite stiff which is what makes or break a fighting game i would hold off a little bit if you're not a diehard snk fan but if you are get it at 50 quid it's it's good it's worth it but if you're not wait till it comes down to about 40 30 pounds then pick it up and i think you will be i think you'll be happy with it so there you go there's my first impressions of king of fighters 14 i hope you uh, got something from it and uh, if you're tempted to buy it then do do buy it see if you can get a deal if you can get it for 40 pounds brand new get it or 45 yeah 45 is all right but 50 upwards and it's a bit too much this was the day one edition though mind you so maybe the standard edition is five quid cheaper i don't know because this was 50 when i got it um but yeah if you can get it for 45 or under it's worth a go and like i said the mechanics are stiff but you do get into it though once you get used to the stiff mechanics and you get used to it it actually does play quite well like you you will get used to it and the controls like i said are responsive enough for you to do super moves and punch and kick and stuff you will get into it and it will become more natural but it takes time so don't expect fast paced responsive fighting off the bat you're gonna have to get used to its slowness but once you do it's all right but hopefully like i said they'll speed it up a bit um, and until then can i say thank you very much for watching this rambling video if you have i hope you enjoyed it or at least got something from it like i said take it easy have a good one hope you're all well and i'll see you in another video so bye for now